See, God's not in time like we're in time. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. But we're made in his image. That means we have a past, we have a present, and we have a future. And see, the beauty of the Lord is you can't just constantly be going back and dealing with your past. What God does is as you keep stepping by faith, he takes something in your past, even something great, great, great grandpa did. And it might have been awful, but he knows that you're going to reconcile it because you're seeking it. So he takes that situation, he sits it right in front of you, and you can't quite see the future till you step on the past. And you have a right to put your feet on it and reconcile it. But then he also can do what this book's about. Look back and say, here's a DNA decree that occurred like he did with Abraham. He spoke to Abraham and said, you're not going to see any of this for 400 years. And he can say, this occurred in another generation. I had this person decree it. Now, they didn't finish what they started. And they never saw it. But I'm going to take this thing that was decreed, and I'm going to set it in front of you. And as you step into it and start decreeing it, I'm going to extend it into its fullness in the future. Now, I see right now the Lord is extending our vision into the future. He's saying, there's an expected end I had for you. Things tried to stop it. Things tried to end it, but I'm going to show you the end of that horizon line because that's what that word, I have predetermined your time and space means. I'm going to show you that horizon line way down there in the next four years, and then I'm going to bring you back to the moment, but you've already seen it. You're going to start saying it, and before long, you're going to be standing in it. Now, that's what the Lord is saying now here in New York. It's been so much conflict over this area and so many crazy legal issues over this area. That doesn't stop God's people from seeing into the future and saying, but here's where. The kingdom of God is taking us. Here's where we're going, and this is how we're going to get there. Now, that's what these meetings are about. Now, I want to catch us together. We started last night in Staten Island, and that was the birthing place of this nation. One of them, one key place. It's where even yesterday, this week was a historical time where General Howe said, we're coming from England to stop this movement of the new. We went there, we worshiped, and we said, the new will be birthed. You need to say right now, this movement that God is starting will not be stopped. This morning, we ended up in Flushing in Queens, and the Lord said, you know, you can't move forward into harvest without angelic help helping you harvest. Therefore, I'm going to send the angels in, and Queens is where I'm going to start harvesting things because I'm going to flush out the evil that's forming there. Now, you need to start watching it because there's going to be certain things that have been forming out of Queens that gets flushed out. And it'll make, it'll, it'll make national news. It'll make world news. And yet, God says, that is going to be a sign of the harvest ahead. 
So then he brings us to Bronx and to Rochelle. Just awesome, awesome that we would be here. And he said, this is where the Spirit of God is going to come in might, Apostle. He said, I'm going to, uh, uh, Bishop Ray, he says, I'm going to come with my spirit up in this Bronx, Westchester area. And see, I didn't know anything about that book. And he said, because I had been waiting for years to come and accomplish my purpose. And I'm going to come accomplish it. And my spirit is going to come in here so thick that all of America is going to know I have visited the Bronx. And he said, out of the Bronx, I'm going to start this new glory highway that starts connecting all over America. And I long to go and connect it up in Canada, but there must be a remnant that will arise in Canada and say, bring the highway across. But the highway that connects from Staten Island through Queens, through Brooklyn, and into Bronx now is going to start in this next year connecting by the Spirit and moving from state to state. First place I ever spoke up here was in 1986, I think it was, and it was in uh, New Windsor, Connecticut. And God said right then, my spirit is coming back. And in this area, the first place I ever came and spoke was in the early 70s because I married someone from New Hampshire. And the Lord said that time in those early 70s, I am coming back for the nation I formed. Now, I want you to understand, we're going to all get out of the way as he comes back in and starts reconnecting his plan in these next four years. But without New York City connecting, our nation is in trouble. And yet, I come here tonight saying, he's got a place. He's got a place. He's got a remnant. He's already pulling this highway through. And this highway is going to start moving through this land. And we will see his glory again. So I want to say to this place up here, get ready. You are going to have a visitation of Holy Ghost. The third person of the Trinity is going to come in and make himself at home for a while. Now, just get ready for it, and it's going to cause all those things that have been said and what has been prayed, get ready because Holy Ghost says, I'm going to manifest them. And they're going to start moving in, in new ways, and his people are going to open their eyes and start seeing them. Get ready to sing it in, because he always starts with Judah going first. Without Judah going first, without that apostolic, prophetic sound being released, and the Lord says you're going to end up singing out things you knew you should have sang out, and you've been pulling back, and the Lord says you're going to sing it out, and they're going to hear it all the way down into Missouri. So the Lord says, get ready, get ready, you're going to sing out in a new way. Now I'm telling y'all, the Lord is reconnecting this place. You're going to look at everything that wasn't finished. This is what apostolic leaders do. They look at what wasn't finished, and they say, we're going to finish this. They look at what never got built correctly, and they drop a new plumb line. 
They look at what wasn't governed in one season or warred for in one season and say, we're going to war it through in this season. See, that is an apostolic anointing. And then we're going to send forth a remnant warring tribe. And God always made Judah and Issachar and uh, uh, Zebulun go together. He always had to have provision interlocked with timing and with sound so that the war would be won. And the Lord says, get ready, New York. You might think you have things controlled all the way across, but I'm bringing in a new plan to set. I would never interrupt Chuck Pierce, <laughs> but I, every time he says a new plan or he says movement or he says sound, what I see visually is a current. So as the sound goes out, what I see is a current bringing people. I keep thinking about the people out there. I just can't help but think about the people out there. And I see a current, like a river rising as the sound goes forth, this, this river rising and, and this strong current bringing these people wow. in. Wow. I speak to Long Island Sound and I say, get ready, this current is about to hit you. Now, I'm telling you, it's about to hit Long Island. Where Y'all have lived so many places, I can't keep up with you. Where are, is that where y'all are? Lord, we say the current is about to hit Long Island Sound. Those girls move around so much, I can't even keep up with them. And all of a sudden, I heard the Lord say, get ready. That, at, Based on this word, that current is coming into that area. And the Lord says, the Spirit of God is going to come here and visit. And y'all get ready. To make him a home here. The Lord says, make him a home here. 